はい<咳> Wheels arrived yesterday、um, so I can do my final dimensioning up、um, Really, only the part that I can't alter the shape is obviously the windscreen because it's kind of one thing that's fixed and you really need to start somewhere. So, realistically, it's going to be the windscreen.、Um, pretty much everything, every other part of the body I can chop, halter, widen, narrow, blah blah blah. But I wanted to get the dimensions roughly, roughly correct. So, we've stuck the front and rear clip on the car and basically made some rough hub to hub, hub, to hub dimensions. So, Uh, front hub to hub was、uh, 1674, rear was 1710.、Um, the rear track is about 20 millimeters wide in the front, plus there's a slight variance in the wheels, <coughs> so gives you a 35 40 millimeters difference between the two. Yes,、um, still trying to make sense of, the, of what exactly I've got to do to the body to try and make it pull in.、Um, As much as these side panels here are、uh, well, horrible, you can kind of vaguely see there's marks and just, just irregularities in the shape everywhere. <sighs> really quite horrid. <clears throat>、um, but actually, those panels themselves match up with the floor pretty good.、Uh, one good thing that I, I wasn't expecting.、Um, The、uh, wheel arches and the wheels,、um, I've ended up having to raise the car up to make them look correct, which is brilliant because I wanted, didn't really want like 75 to 80 millimeters at the front. I'd much prefer to have closer to 100, and it looks like we're going to end up closer to about 95 millimeters of clearance at the front on the corners. The center of the nose, unfortunately, part of the aero dips down and underneath and then accelerates the air. so That will still be a,、um, a little bit closer to、uh, 80 millimeters, but technically the main part of it is going to be closer to 100 mil clearance to the front and looking about 120 at the rear, so which is more than I thought it would be.、Um, my fear was that the wheel tire package is going to be too small and that basically we'd have to lower the car so that it would look right or maybe completely recontour the wheel arches somehow to lift the body up so that the wheels didn't look too stupid. but、uh, As it happens, using the 28.5 inch Enzo, Enzo rear tyres and the quite wide、uh, fronts with the 35 section,、um, it's ended up putting it something to that's、so、going to be reasonably good for the road, so,、um, which is cool, it's good, and that's <clears throat> it's nice to get the good things. Now, if you can see the sill, you see the bodywork above it is doing that going out. Um, I think I finally cracked what's the main problem with the body.、Um, the sill's not too far off, it's reasonably parallel, it's not, it's not too screwed up.、Um, same with here, this side of the body, it's, it's still bad, don't get me wrong, but the body follows it pretty well that way.、Um, it still needs a lot of work, but it's not far off. I think basically what's happened somewhere on the line is that、uh, the rear bodywork. Somewhere in this section here, somewhere on the top, has twisted up and come out. Don't ask me how. No idea. <coughs>、um, you know, the wheel arches are slightly supposed to be this way, but this section here is, is just too bloody wide. I, I have no idea why.、Um, the silhouette of the body where the centre section meets the rear is correct. That's about right.、Um, door apertures are slightly. Wrong, but we can,、uh, we can play with those. <coughs> so I can now see in the previous set of body that came out of this、uh, tooling, I can see why he basically chopped it from here, where the body fine finishes on the horizontal, all the way around and all the way back to the other side. So basically, he's sort of completely removing the main bubble part of the roof, and all he's obviously probably done is pulled the side in and corrected the, the fact that the angle's completely wrong. Now, you can see this exaggerated by the fact we put our straight edge here, and okay, albeit there's a little bit of a dip hole here,、um, that's probably just the fact that I haven't got it lined up perfectly. <coughs> Now, look here. 
it is absolutely bloody awful. So something's majorly wrong here, so I'm gonna have to cut basically along here and correct this because it's just it's just wrong. Now the other side, I'll probably cut both sides anyway just to make it easier. Now the other side, now that's within the realms of adjustment. You know, a little bit of fibre less cutting, that's a little bit high there as it is, so we're not far off. In fact, that's pretty good to be honest, that's it's even parallel here. So yeah, for a small height adjustment here and we're done. Now, this here, it is a spline, almost a spline. Basically, what it means is it's almost a constant curve. Yes, there's a drop here, but like I said, the roof needs to come up. Now, if something's a spline, then it looks okay. Even if it's a dip and it comes out, as long as, it, as, long as you can get a, a piece of whatever and just bend it into a natural shape, um, and it generally is okay. That side is not bad. So it, it all references to being a, being able to correct this side. And this side is just so far out, it's just not... Yeah, it's hard to tell with this camera, but... <clears throat> basically the right hand side is just, is just out completely, so it looks like I'll probably have to completely sectionally chop the back into more than likely three pieces and line it up. Um, but best to do that, to be honest, once the car's rolling, then I can <clears throat> put some fixed points out from the chassis and get it on. Um, but I'm a little bit happier. I know where the major fault is because there was something that was just completely out and uh, it looked awful. Um, similar to how did I wanted to, I got to buy a decent bloody video camera and stop this thing from focusing in the wrong place. But yeah, so it looks like the, the, the error really is in this back panel here. And it's pointed to me trying to get the door shuts close uh, when that panel is so far out. So, um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, got my two dimensions, got my chassis height, revised chassis height. We'll have to lift that up so I can then get on with the CAD and finalise the wishbones, um, finalise the rear uprights, and then we'll uh, be doing a big billet order to get all the components that I want to do the adapter to the engine gearbox and the rear uprights and the rear plates. But... <coughs> wheels on, it does make it suddenly look like a car. Come on, focus your bloody thing. iPhones, yeah. Mm. Not the best of video cameras. Anyway, speak to you soon.